blocks from the school's front door. There was so much fear. My stomach is in knots right now. And so little fact. From what I was told, there were gangs that were um, trying to engage other children in the school. The roadblock here on Greenspring Avenue is where many panicked parents waited for word. Some of them had received texts from their frightened children. It says, help, police at school need help. Other parents were called by relatives. She said, there's something going on at school, so we'll be a gunman. Oh, wait a minute. And others were alerted by the media. I would not have known at all if it wasn't for Fox 45. But it would be at least two hours before parents say they received any alert from the school district. As a parent, we should have some type of alert system that goes off to our phones to let us know what's going on. I've been trying to get in contact with the office, the teachers. I'm not getting no response. I'm concerned about my child. Many parents did receive an automated message from the schools more than two hours after the incident was under control. School officials are now probing what happened. You, I'm sure there's going to be conversation on how to improve the communication with the parents. This incident may have ended with relief, but it's raised new questions about who is notifying who. It's really scary. It's really scary. Wow. Okay.